Hello. Um, I want to continue with the last video. Um, so continue to talk about modeling. Um, so the other tool we can want to talk about is the 3D polygon. Um, it's basically just enable you to draw things in 3D. Uh, usually when we draw polygon, they just you know 2D. So you can snap endpoints like this, and then you can just draw lines. See here, you can just draw lines, and then and the points draw lines and then you double click and you finish so they will you know create like a 3d kind of polygon okay they're not like a real pure face in here is they have they're not a pure flat face that's why they're special okay um, so this is one thing 3d polygon um, then um, the other thing I just want to really quick just do uh, to draw like a curve, um, NURB. See here, I draw one, and I draw another one. And then um, I just double click, just to make sure they're 3D a little bit. So okay, I have. Make sure this is 3D. Um, 3D. Okay, so good. So once this is done, I just you know quickly create a nerve service. Um, I use the loft tool. I click this one, click that one, click OK, um, preview. Good. So I have loft service. Then um, let's just randomly um, maybe just copy them. Uh, what you can do, you just hit uh, Alt. Actually, hit Control. Hold control and then you can drag them. Um, so what, what I want to do is I can go to the uh, top top view and I can just draw lines. Uh, sorry, I just go to top view. Um, for example, I can just draw. For example, I can just draw like whatever polygons down here. Once I draw it. Um, To just I don't want to show you. I go to the right one. Um, so here you see here it was here, and then we have the tool called Project. This is really good. So this enable us to draw things in 2D, but you know we can make them 3D. See here, they project it here. Okay, so this is a good projection. Uh, what they do is they create a group. So you just ungroup it. Then they will automatically separate them. Okay, so basically that's what it was. Um, uh, however, one thing I do want to uh, mention about this project tool uh, is the direction of pro projection is based on your views. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Um, for example, like here, I view it here. If I, you know, this circle is that totally underneath the um, service. But if I click project, I click. Um, I click project, I click this. See, it only show up a little bit, okay? So if you want a pure projection, you have to go to top plan, okay? Which means you click this one and you click this one, and then boom, they project uh, in the right way, okay? So here, then they're projecting in the right way, okay? Um, so just make sure that's right. And also, all the projection tool, they have stream mode, okay? You can read them. Um, and look at what's the difference. It's pretty easy. Then um, the next tool I want to introduce is the shell. Uh, I think that's a pretty in important one, um, at least for me, because sometimes we just draw service, right? We just draw, for example, this is just a one piece of service. What if I need the thickness on this? Um, so um, that's why we want to use this shell solid tool, okay? Um, by the way, you can use this for solid. For example, if this is solid, and if you click it, and see this is thickness, you can set up thickness as one, and then you click this OK, and see here they will, you know, cut them, but you know all the, you know, they will create like kind of like a like a box, okay? Um, but there's thickness. See, all these have thickness as one, uh, and you can act, actually you can click it, you can set up thickness. For example, this is one, I can make a five. See, it's a thicker, okay? Um, that's basically how it goes. Um, but for 3D polygons, 
see here there's a 3d polygon um, you, you, you cannot do that um, um, by the way uh, sickness you can set negative to well no uh, you can set actually inside if you set inside it's inside okay if you hear this outside this inside okay um, and also um, and back to the 3d polygon but for 3d polygon you cannot do it if I click it see here um, see I cannot select select it select this so the 3d polygon see this is a type of 3d polygon so for 3d polygon I you cannot use the shelf tool so you have to go to convert and you make sure you convert them to you know I usually convert them to NURBS so this is a NURBS and then once I do this I you know I have a NURB and then I just go to model and go to CD pack and create service from curves and I have a curve so this is a um, NURB service once you have NURB service you can do that okay you click shell solid tool you click this and you set up sickness you click here see here then I have sickness uh, on the things I have okay same with this one see click it you know like all this have sickness on it okay see it have sickness that's that's pretty cool um the same definitely with the 2d things you know you click this um you click it and you will have sickness okay so same thing have sickness okay and you can change you can modify and do things you want okay so this is one tool um called shell solid you know this one just remember that pretty important um then the next tool i'm introducing is so called deform tool uh this is actually a really cool tool uh, for example let's just draw um a column so yeah this is if this is a column i'm interested you can use a deform tool so there's a different mode this is the first mode basically you select them and you just select whatever ser service and here you can choose the lens um, you know of your turn see here when I turn it they will create those kind of deform for me okay this is the first one um, these three things are also important this is Tabor Tabor solid uh, what do you do is you click it and then see here you can make them smaller and bigger okay um, but you want to click twice see here there's a reference lens okay here you set up ratio see this table ratio right this is how you we set up table ratio okay this is 1.3 okay if you want to make a really big table you just make sure you draw shorter lines and then when you you know come so the ratio can be bigger okay so this is this and also you can do um, bunch solid mode what this do is um, again you click it but you change the center okay what's around the center okay um, like this so you can click a pen or something um, so this is this um, well let me just do it again and uh, the form so this the other tool bend, you know, similar. You click it. See, you can bend in a way you want. Okay, um, like this face. See, you bending in the direction you need. Okay. Um, the the final tool, these two tool are actually the same. One's fillet edge, one is chamfer. Um, I just use fillet edge. So what this do is you click the edge. Um, but the cool thing about this is you use this, okay? Uh, you click this preference tool. You can actually, there are two types. One is constant radius. If you click it, click OK. So, you know, they just, you click it. And uh, you choose. And then see here, they just make them, you know, just, just uh, fill it done. But you could set up variable radius which means the first the zero percent position you get two feet and the 50 percent position you get six six feet and the 75 you get two feet and if i click ok and click this click ok see here they will change differently
okay you can even select them and change here so the first I make let's say I want to make it trendy see it become bigger and it was in the middle I want to make it 60 so it become even bigger and here I want to make them like 80 so it's even bigger so I think this is pretty cool okay so you can change different ways to fill it the edges okay um, I think um, that's it that's pretty it for all the um, basic 3d modeling all right just think about the ways to apply those in real projects